Hey guys, what's up? AutoX here, where we've got some of the weirdest Japanese cars on YouTube. Today I'm presenting to you guys a 1991 Toyota Light, <laughs> Light Ace. And this is a rare bird. This is an old body style Light Ace. So pre-92, they had this more boxy body style. And I'm just gonna give you a walk around here of this rare van. This one comes with a 3YE electronically fuel injected gasoline engine made into an automatic transmission. It's a 4x4 with manual locking hubs and a high and low speed transfer case. This is the Light Ace Limited. This is a GXL Limited trim, which is the second highest trim level right below the FXV. We've given this one a two inch lift. Customer requested to leave the stock size tires on, so we've done that. And it's ready to go. It's about to be picked up here. This was for sale and now it's sold. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour before it takes off. So let's look in the front. It's a two-tone taupe brown exterior with a similar interior color pattern. This has the Velour seats with a vinyl siding and a brown interior. So as you can see, this is a pretty clean example, only 88,000 kilometers on this one, which is just around 50,000 miles or so. So let's take a look in the driver's side. I'll show you some of the controls and some of the unique features that this van has which stand it out above some of the others. All right, so two seats up front, six in the rear, makes for a seating total of eight. So if we hop in, cluster there, reading 88, 226. Comes fully packaged with a premium sound from Toyota. We've got a Toyota CD player and a tape deck, both of which work wonderfully. This comes with AC, which blows cold. It also has the cool and hot box with ice maker. Now, what does that mean? Let's take a look inside. So looking in here, it's cool because I have it running right now. In here, you have an ice tray holder, which comes with these factory little ice cube makers. You fill them with water and you leave them in here and they'll freeze. This is very cold right here, the surface. And there's another one below. Such a unique feature, which you don't really see too much anymore. Um, this was an option in these vans. It didn't come with all of them, but some of them have it. And it's always fun when we get this. Um, this has also a factory idle up, engine idle up switch, rear heater, your four-wheel drive button, you press that, you twist your hubs, and then you're in four high, and you pull this back to go in low four. So, um, that's the gist of it. At least up front. Let's show you guys the rear. I really doubt we'll find another one of these. They've become increasingly rare over the years. Um, three, four years ago, we were about to, we were able to find a few of them a year, at least if we really wanted to. But now it's, we're lucky if you find one a year, especially one that's clean with this kind of a package. So looking in the back, you have this really nifty small jump seat, which does have a seat belt. And that's just really cool. I don't know who would fit in here. Someone small, but just, you don't see that kind of stuff anymore, obviously for safety standards, but it's just neat to see it. Up top, you have your dual rear AC controls, which you can set. And those will run out of the upper vents here. You've got your rear bench, which folds up and has little nifty headrest holders built into it. 
those basically unclip from each side there and they fold down into those two um, clips. Your middle bench can actually be configured in this side facing position. It can also rotate to face rear. Like so. And it can also rotate to face the front. Let's see if I can do this for you guys. There we go. Put the seat backs forward and you can twist it into whichever situation you want. and it'll clip in place. And it also slides forward and back, which is really neat. Factory curtains all around, although these are a bit, they've seen better days, so an easy enough replacement if you wanted to. This is a high roof model tin top, so there's no skylights. Um, and these also did come with a tin top low roof and a high roof with a skylight roof. But this makes for a great, camper. You can easily cut this out, put it in a roof fan, and have some nice headroom. So there it is, the 91 Toyota Light Ace F GXL Limited. Brought to you by us here at AutoX. We're based in Portland, Oregon. Check us out, ottoex.com. Or just keep checking out our channel for the weird videos we'll keep posting. And I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions about this van or anything else, just reach out, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Would you daily drive this thing? I would. So there it is. Tune in next time.